G'day one and all and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be tasting the rest of the wines. Oh, salad. We didn't do too well last time, but you know what? I have a really good feeling about tonight. Alright, let's, so let's start tasting these wines. We got, we got the water and we got the good drinking glasses, so let's get started. First up is boy meets girl 10th anniversary edition Ooh, ooh. all right smooth and medium bodied this fruit laden wine shows classic black currant and dark cherry flavors Ooh, a beautiful food wine it will pair perfectly with a sunday lamb roast and will hold its own against a strong vintage cheddar or dark bitter chocolate well, you sound nice. All right, let's give it a good swig. We're just, oh. You know what? I've learned my lesson. We're just going to pour and hope for the best. Oh, a red one again. Oh, that's way too much. It's way too much. Oopsie. So the last video that I did with this, um, uh, the last, no, the second last one that I tried, the mechanic, Nathan actually used it in a dish and it was actually quite nice. What was it called again? Beef bourguignon, a French stew made with red wine. Gotcha. So that one. And it was quite nice. We have it still in the cupboard too, so I'm hoping he uses it for another one. So, but yeah. Um, cheers. Let's see how this goes again. I'm hoping I have a really good. I like I said, have a really good feeling about this one. I reckon I'm gonna find my wine. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, that one had an aftershock, oh, it had an aftershock and an aftertaste, eh, oh god, <laughs> oh my god, Oh, it penetrated the soul. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh, that's a that's a fucking great start. Yep, yep. I drink the I drink the water. You wouldn't use that one in the stew, that's for sure. Oh, let's continue. We got this one. <laughs> Um, oh, we got this, we got this one. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, with the help, explain something to me. Why are we all angels here? With the help of angels, we are living the dream in a land where the air is fresh and clean. Discover the, tr the strong maritime influence of handcraft selection of cool climate wines made the way nature intended big and bold like a like our favorite local surfs breaks with guaranteed quality and value i guarantee you my mouth is going to be violated after this that's what i, oh, I think uh, you know what we missed out on the red wines this one's a really dark wine actually Let's see the alcohol percentages of this because, oh, 8.6 for this one. What's this one? Oh, 8.3. Oh, okay. Oh, God, I'm cringing. Okay. No, down the hatch. Cheers. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, 
Yeah. Well. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, this is like a form of torture, I swear. At this point, I want my sour back. I don't want my bitter. I just want my sour. Fucking awful. Okay, red wine is definitely not my thing. That's for sure. Ooh, this looks fun. See? Aina, let's go. All right, what's this one say? A and I is, um, is a creative collect collection of wines crafted exclusively for angels from alternative varieties, interesting blends, or unique regions. Deep, broading flavors of wild bramble and dark, spicy fruits are teamed with balanced oak earthy notes. The alcohol percentage is eight. <clears throat> I swear to God, this is a way of torture in some way, shape, or form. Just trying very bitter wines. I'm looking forward to it. I'm like already got goosebumps from like trying this shit. Like I'm getting fucking traumatized from this shit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ugh. I mean, cheers. You know, either my taste buds are dying as we speak, <clears throat> or I'm getting used to them. That one wasn't as bad. It wasn't as... In, it wasn't a throat... It wasn't a punch throat to the face. I mean throat. What? It was like a punch to the throat. There we go. For <laughs> fun. Oh. I need more water before the next couple of wines. How to get information out of me, just force down bitter wine down my throat. Um, um. Pinot Gris? Is that what the fuck it says? You're right. Hello, angels. Thanks for your generous support at Gra uh, Grounded Crew. Blah. We've, we value the little things, handcrafting our wines with passion and honesty to deliver the wine yards, vineyards to your tables. Table. Cheers. I can't read. What are you? Oh. You. Oh, it's vegan friendly. It's very nice. Where's the percentage? There's no percentage on this one. That's interesting. Am I just dumb or I can't, I can't find it? Huh. There's no percentage on this one. Oh, it's a white one. Oh, I must have been on my fucking mic. What am I doing? <laughs> that would have been a disaster. <laughs> oh my fucking God. It's a white one. Well, now I'm excited. Oh, oh! You still smell like death, though. All right, down the hatch. Cheers. Tastes awful, but you know what? Actually, it doesn't taste that bad. I'm gonna go for a second swig. Shouldn't have gone for a second swig. <coughs> oh, God. That one actually ain't that bad. All right. 
like it it was bearable the first sip but then I had a second sip and then it got sour but honestly after I think that one was the most lowest of the like cringeness of it like that one actually ain't too bad like if I could get past the sour shit <laughs> I think I'd be good that one's an all right wine hallelujah we got a wine that's somewhat decent I would still prefer my brown brothers over it but hey progress is progress it's like having a bunch of sour lollies blended and then you yeah. and that's the drink that's that, what that one was actually like drinkable yeah like out of all the nathan i'm not even kidding you all of them have been so sour <laughs> they're bitter. so sour yeah. like a bag of fucking warheads don't compare to that shit like that's how sour they are like yeah. fucking move aside sour lollies let's try like sour ass wines and get more of a kick out of it too kitty cat all right, we got two left, Nathan. Get excited. Whoop, whoop. You get your fridge back. <laughs> Ooh. Why next, Sam? The butterfly effect. And this one doesn't have a wine percentage either. Sam Plunkett has been making great Australian wines for more than 20 years. His mantra that small things can make a big difference has inspired the butterfly effect. This classical Australian wines are fruit forward and have added textural and flavor complexities. I gotta be so fucking wordy with their fancy paragraphs and shit. Just say it's fucking this and that and be done with you. I need more water. Oh, great, another red one. I'm so excited. <laughs> Second last drink. Cheers. Oh, it violated my nose. Oh, uh, pray for me. Holy shit. I will, I'm going to be put off wines after this. I'm going to have to start trying rums again. My Bundaberg red rum and Coke. I'm going to have to start drinking that shit. Um, my poor mouth. My poor mouth. Blech. Blech. One more. Just one more and it'll be all done. Just one more. One more. Rock it like a redhead. Woo! Rock it like a redhead. Now this one's a cork one. Watch me fail. <laughs> Show you some carnip. Give me. Give me. Give me the cock. <laughs> this one got a cork, babe. Alright. How the fuck. Uh, uh, Nathan, do you know how to do this? Yeah, just twist the wire until this? it goes loose. Okay. And then you just gently twist and work the cork loose. That's not fun. I want it to go... Shake the bottle then. No. No. <laughs> okay, well then just gently I don't twist want the there to be loose. more of a mess than there already is around then this Then you place. gently twist the cork loose. The inner monologue is saying, shake the bottle. Should I shake the bottle? Will you be mad at me if I shake the bottle? Just give it one shake. Okay. 
There, there you go. And now, now the now I'll see if the clock goes boom. I'm scared. I'm scared. Is it slowly rising? Yes. I'm scared. And I'm scared. <laughs> You're probably ah. overreacting. Probably, but I I've never corked a bottle before. Oh come on! This is ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> All right, last one. Do you have a wine percentage? Oh, seven point four. So you're not as horrendous as the other one. Uh, my wines express the connection between my fiery and passionate personality and my commitment to the, my craft. My revel range are spirited wines with a good dose of attitude. See. I have good hopes of this wine. It's good the shit out of me, and you know what? Eat bubbly. But from the smell of that, it's going to be sour like a gummy worm. Sorry, sour worm. Ooh! I think the bubble actually helps. How about that? No, I'm going to just have another swig of that. Oh, it's always the second sip. Oh. oh. Maybe like No, nope, it's still sour. Still sour like a fucking sour worm. It's not too bad. It's honestly not too bad. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, that was exciting. I can't wait to see that. Well, that concludes the wine tasting. I think, honestly, and out of all the wines, I think, oh, Jesus Christ, it's bubbly. Um, this one, and dicked one, a toral, tol, tolerable, am I saying that right? Tolerable? Alexa, how do you, how do you say tolerable? I pronounce that tolerable, but I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it. No, right. no, 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 like, Alexa, how do you spell tolerable? Tolerable is spelled C. No. Alexa, no. Huh? Alexa, how do you spell tolerable? Tolerable is spelled C-O. No, Alexa, <laughs> shut up. Alexa, how do you? I'm not having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. I think Alexa just had a fucking stroke. Tolerable. They're tolerable. Is that a word? Nathan, I feel like I'm stupid now. Is that, is a word, is tolerable a word? Yeah, I thought so. You can talk. You I... find me tolerable <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Aren't you tolerable? <laughs> I was, I was crazy because I was trying to say, tell Alexa how to say tolerable. She kept on saying colourful. And other stuff. Not even have the same fucking stuff. Yeah, I'll show you, Alexa. How do you say tolerable? I pronounce that tolerable, but I'm always working on how I say things, and I might not have it right. Mm -hmm. She's making a fucking liar out of me. Fuck. Sounds like she's working fine to me. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! For fuck's sake! <laughs> you go back on the recording. You'll see. You'll see! <laughs>
I don't know what to do with this wine. It's just permanently open now. We don't have any wine stoppers either. Drink it. No. It's okay. Do you want to taste it? It bubbly. <laughs> it's like the most bubbly one there. Mm. I'm not a wine drinker. You know what? After these two videos... Although I'm not a drinker in the first place. I, I don't drink. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think after these two videos, Nathan... Yeah. I'm not a wine drinker either. No, you like your juice. That happens to have a percentage of alcohol. That's insulting. Could have told you that. My juice! Yes. You know and on I'm... that note, everyone... Thanks for coming. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> well, now I've got to look it up now. What's the alcohol percentage on my juice then, Nathan? Uh, is it like 1% or like... Feck off! It's, I think it's below 3%. Feck off. We're looking it up now. 5.30. And mm. what are these bottles? 8%? Well, the reds are 8. 8.6 is probably the biggest one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> These two actually don't have an alcohol percentage. Oh, wait. I tell lies. This one is 7.7. 7. Um, 14% alcohol? Fucking what? Oh, you're 8.3. And this one. You're 7.4. So yeah, my fucking wine and my red wines are the like the strongest ones. Who would have thought? And that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a good all like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.